yet another high-profile resignation in Ukraine. The country's deputy prosecutor general, Vitaly Kasko, has quit. He says attempts to overhaul the court system are being quashed, leading to intentional degradation, inaction and impunity within the prosecutor's office. Kasko says these factors led to his decision. The last straw was the yet another redistribution of authority within the Prosecutor General's Office of Ukraine. Prosecutor General Viktor Shokin has taken away all the functions and tools to investigate and control proceedings in cases initiated by our team, including the case of the so-called Diamond Prosecutors. Helping to create a real European-style prosecutor's office in Ukraine under the current leadership of the Prosecutor General is impossible, so I see no sense to stay in my position. For over 18 months, Casco has been in charge of international cooperation within the prosecutor's office. His work with European partners involved the seizure and return of assets stolen when former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych was in power. Speaking with Ukraine Today not long ago, Casco said President Petro Poroshenko is ultimately responsible for progress in the prosecutor's office. In my view, it depends on the president. There is a lot of criticism in Ukrainian med media and also from the non-governmental organizations about the uh, different issues uh, in the prosecution service, like fight with corruption, uh, investigation of uh, Maidan events, uh, investigation of corruption cases, corruption in the prosecution service, and finally the lack of reforms in the prosecutor general's office. And I think that all these factors in uh, general, in uh, as a whole, should be taken into account and appropriate assessment should be done. Casco earlier claimed Prosecutor General Shokin would not let him go on a business trip for talks with U.S. officials. Meanwhile, a number of NGOs and top diplomats have called for Shokin's dismissal, including U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Jeffrey Pyatt. The envoy told the Kiev Post corrupt prosecutors under Shokin are making things worse by openly and aggressively undermining reforms.